shift to uh, that win by Creamline over Pacific Town Army. So this Creamline team, uh, ayon na nila matalo. No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're, 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 they're on this really long uh, win streak. And it's not just, like for you, Sin, it's not just about the big name players, but there are other players in this team that can contribute. When you talk about a team, it's not just about who's in the first six. It's also about who can come in when you need them the most. Risa Sato was not performing at her best. Pinasok ni Coach Taisi Pao Serian, who's a starter in an all-Filipino lineup. And we see how Pao stands up for her name and her reputation as a lethal middle blocker. Hindi man siya yung top scorer for that game, pero yung contributions is very much helpful. And we know that Gia, mapapagana yun. That yung rate of Gia, Alisa, and Coach Tai is really in system. So, nothing much to say or to... Um, talk about when you talk about the big stars because they've been playing so well for Creamline and it's really about who will support them and add those um, contributions in the team. Dito na talaga pumapasok sir yung ano eh yung lalim ng bench mm -hmm. ng Creamline na pag may isa dyan na hindi gumana sa ibang team wala na. For, cream, for teams like Creamline, pag may isang hindi gumana, meron pang second or third option. And that's probably why they're being accused of hoarding players per se. Pero it's not really hoarding players. It's really securing your um, level of play in, the, in this competition. Na pag hindi gumana isang starter mo, may pamalit ka talagang starter material din. Okay. Uh, there's something also about Creamline. I think blocking was something that uh, you wanted to point out, uh, Benz. Yeah, um, sabi nga niya, si Pao was on point yeah. during that game. But at the same time, si Blanco din. These middle blockers were just present during that match. Kasi um, the team limited uh, Pacific Town in uh, sa nine excellent sets. Uh, that means hindi nila na full masyado yung blockers. Mm. The blockers laging nakapwesto. So it was easier for the floor defenders sa likod na makapwesto, maitaas yung bola, making it easier for Gia to set a place and then making it easier for the attackers to score. So it's a domino effect in a good way. We're in the tail end of our competition. Bottom line for Creamline is the intangibles will matter at this point. Nasulit na nila yung imports nila kasi they're starting to play into the system of Coach Tai. They're playing happy. They're enjoying the game. Now it's about doing the intangible so that they finish strong when in, they enter into the semis and into the finals. Okay, so speaking of finishing strong, all these teams are hoping to finish strong to improve their chances of uh, making it to the semifinals.